welcome back to Critterland. Well, it's a beautiful day. Uh, happy Sunday. Uh, today I'm going to upload a video that took me a, a few days to compile of other people's collections. A few of you sent me some photographs of your setups and a lot of you have your own channels and I was able to find your setups uh, from your channel. And I also uh, gathered up a bunch of like blog sites and fan sites that I visit pretty often. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of other people's collections. And I hope this really inspires you for setting up your own collection and how you can add to your collection by making your own buildings and repurposing other buildings you have. And a lot of these examples you're going to see are people that have taken, you know, a few buildings or even just one building and done really incredible things to make it a really fun uh, setup. All right, well, I hope you enjoy. So this video has four parts, big time collectors, DIY masters, and unboxing uh, and review pros, as well as amazing creators that have good entertaining content. And I'm gonna start before I go into those with Jack Batch. He is probably the largest collector that I'm aware of, and he created a great resource sylvaniancollector.net and lists a bunch of blogs that he enjoys and that he uh, of other collectors that he likes to go to and he catalogs every single home and building uh, and as well as the different families all below here um, he doesn't catalog like like the little furniture sets but any collector set figure set it'll all be here pretty much every single one, including different versions of the same family or building, as well as some cool little mysteries and a little history about himself. So it's a great resource. Uh, and then I also linked in the description several blogs below that you can check out from various people that are very fun uh, to go and punch around in. All right, well, let's start with the big time collectors. Uh, these are channels with large setups, lots of buildings, lots of sets. And of course, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with Amy. This is Amy's Animals Secret Life of Sylvanians, and she has an awesome setup. This is, uh, this could also go in the DIY master section as well. I mean, and you know, the, the one word I use for her is extensive. <laughs> if I could only use one, it's an extensive collection, but she really wants to share it. She's so passionate about collecting and she's got some great limited edition, you know, collector sets, uh, and then some really old vintage rare ones. Um, so very cool. This is Liam Magpie. He does videos as well. All of these are YouTube channels that you can see in the description. And I love how he used uh, like shelf paper there uh, with the buildings and homes surrounding it. So really cool diorama. Um, and he gives great tours and is very knowledgeable. He's got some very cool rare pieces in there that are fun to, to check out. Uh, so another extensive setup that you might enjoy. And then this is a video from Davi. It's in Tiwanese, and she has two videos with very extensive towns uh, set up. This one is with the town series, very cool. And then Becca, uh, Becca's toy collection, she no longer collects. She used to, uh, and has a lot of great footage of her uh, homes, giving home tours, um, and uh, time lapses of her setting up the homes. So it's a, a very uh, extensive collection and very fun to watch. And then here is from a viewer. This is Ben Hewitt, and he sent us a setup uh, of his Cloverleaf Manor all uh, decked out. I love the, the brown globe he has at the reception desk. He was lucky enough to get this brand new uh, in the box. Uh, this is not a secondhand set, so how cool is that? I mean, no damage or anything. And I love the hotel room with the little uh, suitcases there on the bed. So he did a great job setting it up. And then this is a uh, set a look at his little village uh, using the hotel and a couple of buildings. I love how he tried to create like a road um, and I'm really uh, eager to see how it evolves. And then Calico Critter Chronicles, I put this in the extensive collection because she is just now starting to show uh, her like a setup. Uh, this is a time lapse of her setting up multiple tables, and it, it's gonna—I think it's gonna be really cool. 
But she also does lots of other videos, great stories and so forth. So check her out. And now let's look at some DIY masters. Uh, and this is Super Sylvanians. Now they do a lot of other great content. Um, but I wanted to show this here because you can see how in the diorama, they've she's got the you know great little setups there that she's done herself. And in this home, uh, is actually not part of the uh, Sylvanians as well as this dollhouse, and it works really, really well. In fact, I think it works better because a lot of the Sylvanian sets really just don't have a lot of space. Um, so this is a great uh, uh, creative setup. And then here is Southern Sylvanians, another really cool DIY diorama with fencing and grass, uh, flowers, I mean signage, pictures. So check her out and pay close attention when you're watching the videos to see all the little DIY pieces. And this is Lost in Sylvania. Now rather than doing DIY elements in this channel, you'll see just really creative uses of the sets and lots of other unexpected elements that aren't Sylvanian. And she did a custom DIY thrift store, which is really cool. And here is Alex Sylvania. Very cool. Uh, he does replica buildings uh, of all the different homes. Not all of them, but many of the homes uh, that you could buy. Um, and then some custom buildings. I love this with Our Lady of Guadalupe up at the top. Very cool. And this is like the uh, um, one of the standard houses. There, there's a picture of it. Beachwood, Beachwood Hall. But it kind of has a you know southwestern theme. Um, just very cool. So check him out. He's in the process of building a hospital. Here's a look at it uh, right now. And that's coming together really nicely. And then this is Daisuku Nakasimi. This channel is in Japanese. It is not a Sylvanian channel. But he's got a playlist of four videos, which I linked in the description. And he made this awesome custom modified home using lots and lots of Sylvanian elements and bits and pieces from houses that he kind of took apart and then put back together. Look at that pantry. It is so cool. Um, and then you, like, you can see there's plexiglass on the windows and a little secret uh, trap door there up in that room um, to go to that room. And then this is a great example of his DIY uh, creativity. This, these are pieces of old windows from another home that he glued together to make a ladder and it looks perfect. And this is Toys Truck, a very cool channel. Um, they made a total DIY Dunkin' Donuts, as well as many, many DIY projects. Very cool, very professional, so fun. And this is from another viewer, Barbara. Uh, she uses CD racks to create like shared living, like apartments, and it's perfect. I mean, there's, there's like a window that goes across, and uh, in one of them, you can see she took the little plastic piece out and was able to fix it up. In this one, you see the plastic piece below has been ripped out, and she's still got to, you know, kind of fix the floor up. But you can see, like, how you can just use your imagination and find other, you know, even boxes or really anything uh, that could be used for uh, communal living. Very fun. All right, now here are some collectors that uh, have uh, really great unboxings. This is Tur Toys. Uh, now this channel tends to focus on the uh, like collector limited edition type sets, uh, but very well done, very professional. So I enjoy looking at those. And probably my personal favorite is Vito for unboxings. Uh, this channel is in Spanish, um, but you can get English subtitles. And he just does a very good job. They're very clean and um, you know, just professional, very, uh, he gives you, he takes you really close and personal with the sets. Um, so to get the English subtitles, just go to settings and then go to auto translate and choose your language. Um, it's not a perfect translation, but it's better than, than nothing if you don't speak Spanish. And then here is another channel that's not in English. This is Charama. Um, it's in Japanese, I think. Um, you might be able to search for it using the English letters, but another really, really sleek unboxing channel really takes you up close. Great lighting, very beautiful. And then another favorite of mine is M. Kalit, I think is how you say it. She's a collector who has a really fun setup and, you know, um, 
gets lots of really rare items that are fun to look at. But what I like about her channel is she really, it really feels like you're just there with a friend. It's like vlog style and very engaging. This is a little playground. Uh, they do some really interesting unboxings and special custom setups, like here they're decorating for Christmas. And this is Luna's loot box. Uh, this is a young collector who really just uh, has a passion for Selanians, and she's very knowledgeable. You can tell she really uh, is really interested in the history and um, you know the these sets. So she's got some really cool unboxings. I look forward to seeing some more reviews from her. All right, well let's take a look at some amazing creators. These are uh, more entertainment focused channels, but they may also do other things. Uh, Amy Liu. Uh, has a really cool collection, um, but she just does really hysterical, uh, like short stories, stop motions. Uh, very, very fun. Definitely check her out. And they're they're well done, uh, just very smooth. Like you can see here, she's got a lot of experience and practice doing this, and it just looks very professional. Very fun to watch. So definitely check her out. And here is Mila's Cute Hobbies. Now, this is in Russian. I don't know if you could find it, but uh, there's a link, again, in the description to get to it. And she does some cool DIY, uh, but her channel really does have a focus on the uh, entertainment side. Uh, but she has, does a mix of everything. Most of these channels do a mix of everything. Now, this one may not be appropriate for children. It's very funny, uh, but some of the topics, uh, this is Sylvanian drama, might be just a little mature for some viewers, so keep that in mind. Here is Victoria Studio. Uh, very beautiful. Uh, they do great stop motions. They also do a, the full range of, you know, uh, reviews, unboxings, tours, so that's a great one. And then Dear Emma, Love Sylvanians, does a great job as well on uh, unboxings and reviews, um, you know, as well as uh, entertaining videos and stories. So another one of my favorites. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And if you have something that you want to share for a future video, please feel free to send me an email. The email address is listed below in the description and I will receive it, and maybe I'll do another one of these videos in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.